Hello, 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 everybody. I hope we're all right today. Right, I'm gonna be doing, uh, well, should I say, first off, this is an update video, uh, just, just to let you guys know that I've had a bit of a break, but I'm back now, and I'm gonna start this new reinvented Osmodians channel um, with a build, a build of my computer. Um, I don't know if you remember, I'll put a link to the video that I've got uh, previous of what my kit was like and uh, it wasn't very good to be honest with you. Um, and recently I've been suffering with overheating um, and so on of my uh, computer. So I've decided I'm going to go and build myself a custom water cooler. Water cooler? Yeah, custom water build, quarter loop. Um, but before we do that, let me first take you through um, the stuff I've got for uh, the insides of the computer. Now, I haven't upgraded much. I've gotten myself a new graphics card, but let's go through it. Right, first off, over here, if the cameraman follows me over. Right, first off, I've got one of these. This um, is my sound card, network card, my, you know, my Wi-Fi card. Now, here's my graphics card. It's, um, well, that's not, that's a backplate. But uh, this is my graphics card. It's an R80, AMD R80, made by XFX. Um, so it's overclocked um, already, um, set to factory. I think it runs at 1328 uh, megahertz, uh, but we'll be overclocking that one. Um, moving on down further, got a EVGA 1000G um, gold labeled uh, power supply, two hard drives on the end here, coming back around this side. We've got my Sabretooth motherboard with an AMD 9590 chip couple fans uh, which I ripped out my old uh, case and CD burner uh, DVD uh, for that. So that's all the old stuff that I've got. Let me just put that back up. Okay, that's all the old stuff. Here's the new stuff that I'm going to put in. I've got myself a 500 gigabyte solid state drive. So I'm going to put my operating system and so on on that. Uh, that'll then uh, be the main drive compared to my two hard drives over there, which will be for the backup. I'm going to be using this little baby. Now, because I've never done a water cooling system before, I thought I'd go for and buy a kit, which has got everything in it for the CPU. Okay, so it's got the CPU water block. Okay, um, it's got all the piping and all the connectors and everything, fans, and it's got a 240 uh, radiator in there, hence why it's called a Performance 240. Okay, uh, so that, I'll be using that. Right, what I've also got is, oh, let me reach for it, an RX 480 water cooler block uh, that will go onto my um, graphics card. And as you saw, I've already ripped it apart, taken that, hit that um, really rubbishy stock fan off it, air fan. I'm going to put it through the liquid cooling uh, loop. Um, I've also got, oh, the coolant. I've got Mayhem's Aurora 2 Blue. Okay, this looks really cool. Um, I can't wait to get this in so we can have a look at it um, and, see, and see it going. Two liters of this stuff. I probably won't use that much, you never know. I've also got from Silverstone some custom sleeved uh, power cables. Um, pull one out and let me just grab one out for you. There we go. So it's custom uh, sleeve, blue and black, because I'm going for a blue theme. Got some uh, combs, which will help keep that cable in all nice and tidy, because as you can see, it's all bunched up and tied in a big, likely nest. Uh, so we'll keep that cool. And just to top it all off at the end, NZ um, XT's Hue Plus. Is it Hue? Yeah, Hue Plus, the lighting. Uh, system. So that'll keep it all nice. And what I'm putting that in is, let me just get that out of the way so you can see over here, cameraman, is the Pantex um, Ethos, e e right, Ethos, <laughs> Etholux um, case, which should look really, really nice. Anyway, back to me. Right, so that's the stuff I'm going to use. Uh, there's my old case just over there. Uh, that's the stuff I'm going to use. What I'm going to do now is turn this off, set the, the camera down, and we'll put it on time lapse because I'm sure you don't want to see me um, sitting here messing with cables, fitting all this stuff in and everything. And then the next time we'll chat. Oh, 
fingers crossed, I'll be putting in the coolant and I'm going for a leak test. All right, so see you guys in a minute. Okay, here we are then. Build's done. Well, as far as I know. <laughs> I can't think of anything else. I've got no other bits left over. Um, everything's in. Um, as you can see, I've already done the piping. Um, my camera battery died uh, just before um, I got to the part where I could do the piping. But there you go, the piping's in. I've got the pump um, and reservoir sat on the side of uh, the computer on the side. And then um, a tube going from the pump to the graphics card, graphics card to the radiator, radiator to the CPU, CPU back to the pump. Now I was told that um, it's better to have the CPU being fed directly from the radiator. Don't know why, I don't know, it's the first time I've ever done this so let's, um, let's see how it goes. So what we're going to do now is we're going to obviously protect everything with our trusty kitchen towel then I'm going to start filling up using this which is the Mayhem's Aurora 2 uh, blue so we're going to give that a go it's supposed to be shaken vigorously okay so we're going to do that and then um, obviously another piece of tubing so I can uh, top it up like from the outside um, as you see okay so I'll sit here and shake probably to get all the little bits running around everywhere. I don't know how big these bits are. I have been warned um, using this that sometimes it can clog up the fins in the graphics card um, and in the CPU head. Um, so I've got to keep an eye on that and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so without further ado, let's start. Okay, uh, now as you can see, uh, we've got everything up and running. I had an issue where the pump wasn't pushing enough through. Um, I think it was because I had one of the fan cables connected to the CPU optional um, connector on the motherboard. Uh, when I disconnected that, put it into the main CPU fan on the back, uh, the big like six uh, hub uh, where all the fans and that are connected um, the thing all kicked in and it's now working I've pretty much got it bled I've got no air in there I've got a few um, a few little uh, areas you know tiny bubbles through the tubing and everything like that uh, but everything looks good so let's have a very quick look uh, very 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 quickly I know it's bleeding not not bleeding going through the leak test but we'll have a very very quick look Okay, so there you go. That's the Aurora 2 by Mayhems. Looks pretty awesome in there. Uh, and then you've got the outlet pipe, which is just at the back there, going down the bottom, through into the RX 480, the XFS version. And then uh, 
coming up. And in fact, if I just lean it, and I can really lean the camera like that underneath. No, you can't see underneath there. Right, and then you got the outlet going up, around the back there, into my radiator, okay, on the top. Then the outlet from the radiator into the CPU head, and then back to the reservoir. And there you go, okay? And there's just a bit of a wide view there. And the case looks pretty cool as well. It's all like lit up, LEDs, blue and everything. And that's pretty much it. So, I'll see you guys in about 24 hours. See you later. Right, so here we are, all up and running. Everything's done. Um, there's my computer just behind me, it'll cool blue. That's what I'm gonna name it. And we're done. The only issue I had was uh, when I turned the computer on, the hard drives for some reason didn't work properly. Um, you know, I had issues with Windows. I had to, I had to do a repair on Windows. Uh, but it's done now. Everything's working. Okay. And as you can see just behind me here, in all its glory, um, Cool Blue's up and running. All right, so I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna give you a close up of that one in a sec, a bit of a montage just to finish this video off. And if you ever do a water cooling, custom water cooling loop, then um, I'd highly recommend it. And it absolutely looks amazing, uh, which I'm sure you'll agree. And if you have got any comments, leave them below. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel. There'll be plenty of this coming up uh, where I'll have to keep on updating that one. And um, loads of gaming. All right. See you guys later. Bye-bye.